You're up. Hello, my name is Woody Wentworth. I'm the instructor here at the Skagit Valley Marine Tech Program, and I teach uh, MT-231, which is heating, refrigeration, and air conditioning. And I've been teaching it for roughly six years. I think I'm just halfway through my sixth year of, the, of the, teaching the, the class. And I run a small business here in Anacortes focusing primarily on HVAC, heating and air conditioning refrigeration, but I also do a lot of electrical work as well. So I got my start in this area by being a boat owner. I was in the Army for 20 some years and I'd go to bed dreaming of buying that boat and go sailing the South Pacific. So when the day came to retire in 2001, I did just that. Ended up with a boat in New Zealand and of course you know the, the, the definition of cruising is fixing stuff in exotic locations so my refrigeration was always breaking down an old engine driven system and so I inherited from the previous owners an old set of gauges for refrigeration uh, uh, like this manual gauges an old tank of gas all rusty and an old pump and with no instruction whatsoever and my refrigeration promptly broke so I had to figure it out. With Nigel Calder's book and, and various sources, I slowly figured it out. So um, I had to sail around and fix other people's refrigerators and, and freezers and even the occasional air conditioner, and I, I got to be a little better at it. Eventually I ended up here in Anacortes and went to the Marine Tech program and took all the classes to include electrical, etc. And then I went back and worked for professionals in the industry for a while and, and got my apprenticeship, you might say. And so uh, now here I am running my own business and teaching at Marine Tech. So here at Marine Tech, we really have a great abundance of heating, refrigeration, and air conditioning equipment uh, gathered over the years. Uh, we still got the old gauges, for example, but we've got the brand new digital ones that are computer controlled and, and, and certainly make life a lot easier for us technicians. But let me start with heating at the end because that's how we start the semester. Uh, this is a Wallace uh, stovetop diesel uh, cooktop, ceramic top, but it also is a heater. It blows out heat. And we've got air top heaters by Webasto and Espar that blow hot air around the, the boat. This is an old one here, and uh, we bring the old stuff in and fix it up, and the students are able to take it apart and put it back together. And we've got hydronic heaters that send hot water around the boat instead, another Webasto on a slightly bigger boat. And uh, there's no, uh, and down below I've got a big old S-bar heater that you might see on some of the older boats. And then uh, when we're done with the heating part of the class, uh, then I move into refrigeration. And here's an example of a, of a small system uh, you might see on a sailboat, a small bin evaporator, a small compressor. Down below in the bucket is the actual through hull condenser. And this thing goes underwater uh, through hull and the, the uh, kitchen uh, uh, the kitchen drain, the galley drain, comes down through here and then there's copper coils and it turns the refrigerant back to a liquid. It's perfect for a small bulge refrigeration needs. And we have lots of other types of refrigeration on board from big to small and the bigger boats and then we even have some boxed type refrigerators, quite a few of them. And, and once again, the focus on these is, uh, is not so much installing them or all. You know, an owner can do that, but it's more the troubleshooting end of it and the theory behind how they work and, and therefore maybe a real aid in fixing them. So then we, uh, we lastly, we move to the maybe the, the hardest uh, ones in the, in the bunch to figure out how they work and how to fix them. That's the reverse cycle heat pumps air conditioners. Um, reverse cycle is maybe the best term because they both heat and cool on a boat. And so a boat that uh, maybe even has a diesel heater with typically a big boat power boat might, or even the big yachts would, would have a bunch of these on board. Uh, you've got the uh, same basic components as a little fridge doing things a little bit differently. A compressor and they're water cooled so we've got the, uh, the big cans for the water down below. It's got a, a built in uh, water pump. We plug them into the wall and uh, the students get to gas them up, troubleshoot them and, uh, and, and figure out how they work. Um, and then over here, we, we, we do spend some time on gas recovery and charging and recycling and all of these things because we also offer the EPA certification as a gas handler. 
That's the card one carries in their wallet, allowing them legally to buy and sell gas. We also offer the ABYC, which is the American Boat and Yacht Council's certification for refrigeration and air conditioning, which is also an optional ticket that you can punch and have in your portfolio as a professional air conditioning refrigeration technician. So that's what we do here during my class here at Marine Tech 231. It's wonderful to have you, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you.